today we're going to make a kale main dish. Uh, you can use, the, if you don't like kale, you can use the Swiss chard, the mustard green, each one make different flavor or uh, version of this dish. I'm glad kale is hot, is hip, and I'm glad all the greens is hip because they are very good for us. And as you know, with this channel, we want healthy recipe, simple recipe, but recipes that they taste great. So this dish, basically I took uh, kale and I cut them about two inch and uh, we're going to top it with butternut squash and the sauce is going to be cilantro with lemon and coriander and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So just think of all these flavors when they come together. So first thing we want to do, like I said, we cut the kale, we're going to blanch it a little bit. By blanching them, you're killing the cell just little bit so you're just going to need some water so you'll have a like a soggy dish and so we're going to start with that so as you see like we said we're going to use butternut squash and I love butternut squash a lot of people say well how do you peel it or how do you do it first cut it into segment so that's and I love my big knife for that reason so you go like this you make noises because you don't want to cut your hands you want to cut the butternut squash that's one segment. Again. And almost two thirds of any butternut squash, there's hardly any seed, just meat, which is wonderful. And we're going to do other dishes with butternut squash. And the lower part has the seeds. So now I'll show you how to peel it. This is a no-no, because it's going to go and cut your hand, especially if it's a strong knife. I love, just invest in a good, potato peeler. So now you have a nice solid uh, surface and just use the, pota the potato peeler and just go around and sometimes even somebody like me still mess up but that's okay it's better than a knife and don't worry about this part what we're gonna do we we'll just go like this to finish the bottom so now you got the idea and that's how you peel the you better not squash then after that we're going to cut them into small strips and for the kale dish I'm going to put some cayenne pepper, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt because we want to give them some because they're sweet and when we give the cayenne pepper always look for a twist and this is, will be our twist for our kale dish. So put some cayenne pepper and you can put more if you like, a little bit of salt some olive oil, hint, toss them and then we'll put them in a, I'm going to toss them in a small oven, that's why we have the small tray. And we're going to bake them uh, about 10 minutes, not more, because you don't want them to be mushy, you want them still to have texture. So we go to bake the butternut squash. So right now we have the olive oil, we're going to saute our blanched kale. We warm up the olive oil while it's warming up. We take a little bit of salt, just dash of salt, and just rub the onion in it. Our oil is ready. I'm not a big fan of overcooking the vegetables. This one, you wait a little bit, and it's just a hint of caramelization. It adds a nice touch. So as you see, it's, it's the edge of the onion starts to a little bit caramelize. We add garlic. You cannot, or at least. I can't live without my garlic and I'm lucky my daughter loves garlic so I put out of garlic in her dish so hopefully she will never have a boyfriend some cilantro mm -mm 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 -mm. and then you add your blanched kale a red pepper just for colors. Sorry guys, just for colors. Saute a little bit. Salt. Pepper. Stir. Lemon juice. Just bring it back to, to boil and then at this stage you can eat it as is as a 
uh, vegetarian main dish or you can serve it over um, mashed potato, over rice. I like it with almond, which we're going to do it right now. So we sauteed our Swiss chard and like I said, you can have it by itself, which I like it, or you can have it on a uh, rice or mashed potato. The way I serve it, I spoon it into the dish. Duh, of course, unless you like to eat off the plate, of the heating pot, which is fine too. See, already we have wonderful colors, but don't forget our butternut squash. I've been cooking so many, so long in my restaurant that my I lost the feeling of my fingers, so that's why I can touch hot stuff. But for you, try to use the fork. We don't want to lose our burn our fingers. And then, for the last touch, we add some toasted almond because again, I love textures. I love to hear some noises, not so many noises that you drive your companion crazy, but noises that you can wake up your body and your sensation. So, and then you add all the nutrients. So this dish, as you see we have the pepper, we have the kale, the flavor of the cilantro and the lemon is fantastic. And then you have the other stuff. And then you just make it. Of course, I'm going to eat from the plate because I'm just tasting. We don't want to ever double dip. It smells heavenly. I don't know why people say it smells heavily, because who knows how, how heaven smelled. Anyway, sounds good. And then... So you hear this? That's me, I didn't overcook my kale. If it's... You don't hear this noise, that's me, you really way overcooked your kale. And you don't want to do that, because you lose nutrient, and it's boring. Good appetite.